What are you doing, Scout? All right, we're getting ready to go work on the chicken coop and put in a windbreak. Are you ready to go? What are we doing? We're gonna go over to the, okay. We're gonna go over the chicken coop and see if we can put up some kind of windbreak to make it warmer for them. Come on, let's go. All right. So I'm getting in the car to go over to Aja's with Ed, and it's filled with trash. But anyways, I noticed this bag it says "Thank you, Ed. Have an inspired day." Where's this from? Uh, it's a restaurant called The Station. It's like a little sandwich. Oh, on 180? Shop. Yeah, on Just outside of Flagstaff. Yeah, Aja recommended Go it. Go check out The Station. There. Was the sandwich good? Yes, it was expensive, but it was good. Like how expensive? Well, for just a sandwich with absolutely no sides and one Gatorade, it was $17.50. Woo! Flagstaff prices. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If bit. you guys don't know, Flagstaff is the most expensive city in Arizona. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and that's our supply town. I know. <laughs> it is a lovely town. Our supply town. It's just... I'm doing a terrible job of filming. I'm tired. Sorry, everybody. Ready for anything? See, stone face there. She's ready for work. <laughs> She's really, She wants to go to work right now. She's used to getting in here means going to work with Papa. Look how serious she is. I know. She takes her, she takes her, know, she takes her job very seriously. <laughs> Very good work. Look how clean her teeth are. Did you all see that? Yes, yeah, because she, <laughs> she chews on a ton of shit. I'm used to pugs. <laughs> their teeth are disgusting no matter what What's you up, do baby? or how many thousands of dollars you spend on dental work at the dent at the vet, they're still nasty. Anybody who's ever had a pug knows what I'm talking about. If anybody's wondering what that noise is in the background, it's the air suspension. Oh. Yeah, this navigator has some kind of automatic air suspension thing. It's fancy. Where's Bunny at? Huh? Where's Bunny? Oh, oh. She tipped over her water. Oh no! <laughs> Where's Bunny, huh? Why is there a full water dish back there? So she could have something to drink when we're out. Oh man, he just drives around with a full water dish? No, it's like a quarter full. <laughs> it works fine. We have no problem with it. <laughs> I know, every time you get in here, there's something in here that's not to your liking. <laughs> I turned this into a work truck. <laughs> Did you just spill your water all over the place? <laughs> yeah. Bugs. Our security, there ain't nobody getting here anymore. Woohoo! Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, hi! Yeah, they're back looking for more food. There's Suki, and she's molting. At first, we thought she was dying, but then just a quick little bit of research revealed that she's just molting for the first time. Hi! don't have any worms. We've discovered that she loves worms. Where's everybody else? Where's the other girls? Huh? Where's everybody? Well, at any rate, we realized she needs extra protein like worms because she's molting and I have some that I feed my gecko. So I've been feeding her those, but I don't have any more, but she loves them. There's Phoenix. What are you doing? See, they're cold. That's why we're putting up the windbreak. Hiding over there in the bushes. Where's the other one? Oh, were you laying an egg? Oh, look at you. Come on out. Come on out. Are you making an egg? Good job. Thank you. We appreciate those eggs. We eat them. And the yolks are so much more yellow than the store eggs. What's up with that? What does that mean? Are you guys cold? We're gonna try and make it warmer. You guys are so 
so cute. show you all a heating guy trick so look notice how I don't have any pencils right okay I lock the tape off at the length I want I hold the tension on it I come up here to the front blade and I just move it back and forth and look at that I got a nice mark made that's how heating guys mark metal <coughs> before we cut it mm -hmm. heating guy firewood guy identity crisis I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> jack of all trades Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's your end game here? Give it support for oh snow for the snow. Load. Oh, okay. And yeah, so I what see. I did is I'm cheating. Instead of rebuilding the whole thing, I'm going to add a support. So nice. see how I put a little bit of an upward. Yeah. bias on it so it's actually pushing up on the well, and it all make it creates a little bit of a raised off. area to help yeah help it slough off a little yeah. bit and then i'm just gonna go crawl across and shoot a screw in there so nice. um the ladder. Have to get the ladder for that You need to put up another cabbage hanging thing, you know, from the little string over here. You guys are kicking it up. That's what they like to do, scratch. You're kicking it up. You guys are pigs, you know that? Yeah. No, I don't have any worms. Hopefully. They literally come at me for the worms. I mean, the worm lady took them. You guys like those worms, don't you? Well, I'm going to go shopping before the weather comes in later this week and I'm going to get a giant thing of the worms for y'all. Oh, I'm so enthralled with the chickens that I'm not filming in. <laughs> there we go. That one's it. All right, that ain't going nowhere. Yay. Okay. Those are our chickens. Those are our friends. Yeah, those are our friends. No, I've already scolded her enough. She knows we that protect not, not the chickens. Yeah, see, not we her. love the chickens. They give us eggs. You don't hurt the chickens. Good girl. What a good dog. Are you a good dog? She's like, what are those things? Those are chickens. They give us those delicious eggs. They know you're up to something. Wow, listen to that wind. It sounds like something out of a movie. It's like whistling. It's freaking cold. Now what's this part of the plan? I'm trying to hold this board on here so I have something to staple the tarp to. Oh. The tarp's going to get attached up here all the way along so that it comes down this way. And then it's going to be stapled to here. And then I'm actually going to take this board off and I'm going to put it mounted going across here and staple it out. And this will be blocked off. Okay. Sealed off in the wind, they'll still be able to go in this way, and then they'll have three sides protected from the wind. Oh, okay. I see. Got you. So you're making like a third wall yeah. out of the tarp. Yep, and then we're going to put plastic on all of this. <laughs> I swear you thought you brought the staple gun. No, I grabbed all the tools, but I forgot to grab the staple gun. Okay. okay. One hour later. There it is. Oh, it's going to get way warmer in there. Watch, you know, I might have forgot to push record on that whole last part. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead and walk in there. And I can... can't see, but oh my gosh, I think I might have not filmed that entire part. <laughs> All right, so let's go inside of here. Okay, there's there's pretty much no wind in here now. This is 
This is working great. It's like so a little fort. This is like from chicken the fort. chicken perspective. This <laughs> is their water. So I'm still gonna come back and I'm gonna put a five gallon trash bag over that 55 gallon drum and that'll keep it, the black will help it, help it heat up a lot. And this is their food. The food's doing good. Yeah, so this is gonna work out nicely. It's gonna get nice and warm. Oh yeah, there's already reflective, nice. there's already reflective heat coming off of it. Nice. Nice. Too bad we didn't bring any treats that we could lure them in there. And I know. It out. Okay. Because you know, but sometimes animals, when something's different, they're afraid of it at first. Yeah. So they might be sketched out at first. Okay, so we've added support. <laughs> um, I think we have enough for snow load now. Well, it's got a little bit of a peak in the roof now. And we added a third wall that is going to heat up when it gets, when the sun hits it. So here you go. Guys, right, now come all check rest it out. Is outside. Come check it out. All the rest is going to be outside. Come check out your sunroom. Sookie, come here. Sookie. Come here. Good girl, come here. Come on. Come on. Go check it out. Come on, it's okay. Come on, it's okay. Come on. Come on, come see. Come see your new thing. Come here, come on. Come see your new room. Come and see, come on. Come on, it's okay. I almost had Suki going in there. Oh, did you? Yeah. She will. Come on, guys, come see it. Once they figure out it's warmer in there, they'll be in there all the time. You know what they should do, what we should do in the winter is just put more of this plastic shield stuff all the way around. What? See how in some parts there's the plastic thing on the outside? Just like this roofing yeah. stuff. If that was all the way around, that would block the wind in the winter. Yeah, it would. Because it's the wind that makes it so dang cold. Yeah, come see. Come see your new thing. Come and check it out. She wants to, she's curious. <laughs> now what's what's the second phase of the plan? Clear plastic around all the rest of this. It doesn't have any that. Yeah.
camera's not even on us right now. <laughs> well, you can kind of see you, but mostly you can see the hood of the car. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube audience. So let's just go staple that other side onto the pallet that we put down over there. That's what this is working okay. good. All right, so here's what we did. We're trying to block the wind. The biggest issue was there's nothing to staple anything into. They just, the staples won't go into the logs. But we got that part up. And then we got this whole side covered. Actually, yeah, it'll work good enough for now. And, you know, obviously we're just improvising with what we have lying around. We're just trying to block the wind for them because the wind is so bitingly cold. So we got this whole side wrapped around. We only really need it to last, you know, a couple months. <laughs> Just needed to do this last side here. And then they got their little sunroom there. Here, I got an idea. Let's stop here. here. I'm huh? worried about your hand. Worried about what? Your hand. No, we're not doing any more stapling. Yeah. I have an idea. I'm gonna okay. just gonna stack pallets here, and we're gonna push those track cans up against the hole. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That staple stapler is really bad for Ed's hands. That's why I was telling him to stop. But yeah, that there's no way that doesn't help cut back the wind a little bit. So that was the goal. Scooter, what do you think? We're trying to keep them chickens warm. They're cold. We use the pallets that Aja has sitting over there. Oh, look at that. Total wind block. Easy. Yep. Fantastico. I'm gonna go see the chickens again. See if it feels warm. Right One of them. Where, yeah, where are the chickens? I only see. Oh. No. <laughs> Suki. 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 They're all right here. Oh. Just gotta walk all the way around. There's only one. I think the other two are in the coop fighting. Suki, hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Go check out your new stuff. Here, now there's only one little spot where wind comes through. There's two, two spots. Yeah. A less windy in there? Yeah. There's no way that's not going to have a big improvement for him. Oh, are you, what do you guys do? Oh, one of them's in there making an egg, I think. Are you making eggs for us? Oh, you mean uh, the inside of the little... Yeah. They're so appreciative of the new windbreak that they're in there making eggs. Hi guys. What you doing? Are you making eggs for us? All right, mission accomplished. It's yep, freezing. Since, uh, I've also I went along and fixed the roof too, so the roof's done. Well, all we can do is try. I'm just trying to put a band-aid on the situation here. Well, we can't check the eggs because if I open that up now while she's in it, she'll get all upset. Alright, are we ready to go back home and get out of the cold? Yes, we are. Ow. Oh no, are you okay? You okay? I drove the drill right into my finger. I'm sorry.